Hello and welcome to Explore Xenia TV and this edition of Express Xenia, a program featuring news, views, and information with leaders in and around Xenia. I'm your host, Lee Warren. Today I'm joined by Xenia Mayor Sarah Mays and Xenia City Manager Brent Merriman. Mayor Mays and Brent, welcome. Thank Thanks, you. Lee. Mayor, tell us how you came to serve as the mayor, why you serve, and why Xenia is such a great place to raise a family. All right. Thanks, Lee. Well, I started really um, getting involved in volunteer service and, and different events, uh, the, the community Easter egg hunt, the Thanksgiving community meal. Those were two important events that I volunteered through my church and took a leadership role in. And through those events, I started meeting uh, different people in the city, different council members, and um, really admired what they were doing, um, especially admired Mayor Bayless and how she was helping in the community. So after developing a relationship with them, they encouraged me to start volunteering in some different areas of the city. So I started with Traffic Commission. Uh, they needed people to serve, and I thought I can do that. And I, it gave me a chance to learn a lot of how our local government works um, in just a once a month meeting and coming and volunteering my time, educating myself, and I loved it. So as I, as I went further in that, I decided to run for council because I thought that's, that's another way I can serve and, um, and be a part of this community and, and I wanted to see it grow. I have children here. I wanted to develop, help develop a community um, where my kids can grow up. I, I grew up here. I've lived here all my life and I love it here. So I ran for council. I won um, and did that for a couple of years and as I further developed that relationship with, with Mayor Bayless, um, I really admired the way that she cared for Xenia. She cared for the, every person that she came in contact with. And I, I told her, I would love to do what you're doing someday. And so when she decided not to run, I decided that this is a chance I have um, to follow in her footsteps. And I did just that. I ran for mayor. And here I am, uh, almost, you know, this is my second year, right, four-year uh -huh. term. And uh, it's, it's just doing what I've always been doing as far as volunteering. Um, there is a little bit of pay, but it's, it's a lot of volunteer time. And it's a way to help, again, develop that community that is um, for families, for, for my kids, and passing on um, a legacy to my children. So that's how I got involved, and, and that's why I do this. I love Xenia. I love this community. Um, I'm heavily involved in my church and the faith community. Mm -hmm. And it's all about um, loving your neighbor. And I take that very seriously. This being in a mayor position is the best way that I know how right now that God has allowed me to love my neighbor. Well, you're really the face of Xenia, and mm -hmm. we see you everywhere. Such a great representation that you have in Xenia and how Thank people you. recognize you. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned how you got involved with the Traffic Commission because mm -hmm. I know that uh, Brent, and we'll talk about this maybe a little bit later, mm -hmm. had started a program called the Citizens Academy. Yes. And some of the idea behind the Citizens Academy, for those of you who want to learn more about Xenia, is to really let folks come here, mm -hmm. study what really happens here, whether it be finance, whether it be how police work, how the fire department runs, etc. these very critical services. And we actually have those programs here, and it's almost the same type of Absolutely. commonality here. It is, and, and we need more people to come to those things, to the Citizens Academy, to understand how your local government works. I mean, it, I'm four years now involved, or longer than that, because I was involved with Traffic Commission before even being on council, and I'm still learning. There's still nuances of the local government, the state government that I'm learning, it, and it's a process. And so the more our citizens can get involved, the more they can help others understand, and we work together better when we are on the same page, when we're communicating well. And, and we have a lot of positions that we need volunteers in on our commissions. And uh, I mean, traffic is just one commission. There's the zoning appeals and, and um, planning and zoning and, and economic development and these different areas. Right now we're doing a charter review commission. We need our citizens to be involved and we need those people to step up and say, yes, I care about my community. I care about what happens here. And so I'm gonna give of my time to help serve and that's how we build a better community. Right. That really adds to the livability. I mean, that's one of the mm -hmm. questions I had for you, uh, you know, why it's so great to live here. But, I mean, we need volunteers like you to really make the city great and to operate properly. Uh, okay. Well, when we volunteer, we're investing. You know, right. When, mm -hmm. and, and when you're investing in your community, you obviously want things to go well. 
you're you're going to be more dedicated to the betterment of this community. Absolutely. Okay. Now, listen. I know, as I said earlier, that you know you're all around the city. You've done some really amazing things. Thank I think you. at one point you were a firefighter. I did for uh, a day. You've gone to uh, <laughs> meetings at Wright Pat with international leaders from all over the the world. Uh, you've done a lot of very interesting things. I know that you've met Magic Johnson. I did. You've had some celebrity sightings. You are a celebrity yourself. <laughs> I saw you at a Central State University basketball game. I mean, you're omnipresent. You're everywhere. No, no, no. <laughs> I, as mayor, you do get invited to a lot of events. And um, if I wasn't careful, I would be doing something every single day. And it is something that you have to balance, especially as a mom with three kids. Right, yeah. um, my kids are eight, six, and two. And um, it's, it's exciting to go to a lot of those events. We try to, I try to do things that um, include my kids because, again, the whole point of doing this is to have a community where I can raise a family and they... Um, they're successful here. I want them to love this area as well. So we try to, I try to take them to events where they can be involved. Just today we're going to an event, hopefully this evening if the rain holds up, <laughs> where they get to be a part of a ribbon cutting. My kids have their own scissors because they like to do ribbon cuttings. And um, I love being able to teach them about local government and hopefully raise up that next generation of, of people who will want to be involved. Absolutely. Very, very important. Um, one of the things um, uh, I wanted to ask you about mm -hmm. in your service is that you are the titular head, if you will, the face of the city, but you're one of seven council people, Correct. council persons. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we would say that. Uh, I don't want to say council, mem or, uh, council, council members. Council members. members. Council members. Council members. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And how does that work? Just let our, our sure. audience know that. I'm just one of seven. I have the same vote as everybody else. Um, the mayor does not hold any extra sway when it comes to council and decision making. We are all equal. And so I try to be very careful of that. I want to make sure people understand that um, as mayor, yes, I go to a lot of events and I would, um, I think a lot of you would consider me the face of Xenia, that I am the ambassador for Xenia, I am representing our community, and I try to do that well. But when I do that, I, I try to be very careful that I'm not overstepping because every member of council has the same vote and say that I do. And so I try to make sure that if, I'm, if I am representing, if I'm bringing greetings on behalf of the council, that I understand they have just as much say as I do. I do not have any more say than anybody else on council. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you've done all these various things. What is the most memorable thing that you've done to date, uh, either here in Xenia or even invited to some of the uh, other activities that are going on around uh, sure. the Xenia region? Uh, probably the um, the Fire Ops 101 and uh, mm -hmm. participating with um, with the with the base with Beaver Creek with Fairborn. Uh, doing kind of a day as a firefighter, uh, being fitted for gear, wearing it, going into live fire, um, learning to turn, I mean, just turning the hose on itself is unbelievable how crazy strong it is. Right, right. Um, climbed the ladder in full gear, uh, made it to the top just barely, thought I might pass out, but I made it. I've tried um, that once and I tried it once. It, it's, <laughs> It's, uh, it's an experience of the jaws of life, opening up a car, and, right. and really just that whole day, and because we did it out at Wright Pat, they have what they call the burn pit with a, a simulated airplane crash and a fire. It, it was unbelievable, and it just gave me a whole new level of respect for our first responders. What right. they do, the danger they run towards is unbelievable, and uh, I just, I walked away exhausted but just a whole new respect for them. Yeah, it's really a yeoman's job. I mean, it's it's amazing the work that they do, mm -hmm. all the first responders, and, and we can't leave out, in fact, even our public service employees Absolutely. at Xenia, the stuff that they do that never really gets recognized. They um, work so hard. You know, so delivering hard. materials for Absolutely. events and activities, mm -hmm. things of that nature. I mean, what do you, I know you've gone out and sure. spoken to them before separately. Sure. Uh, tell us what you think about the public service I just, division. They're, they're so thing. helpful. In fact, just recently, um, not in a mayor, mayor role, but as a church member, uh, we, with seven, six other churches, my church and six other churches, put together a Xenia Kids Community Week. Um, and we had, um, we invited all of Xenia to come out, kids come out, we fed them breakfast and lunch. But I mentioned that because our public service department, this is just one little example. Every day, they made sure the park was ready to go. They made sure that the trash had been taken. And we made a lot of trash with a lot of kids, um, especially as we fed them lunch every day. 
we um, there was no issue with the the animals that live around the park. That's how we'll leave that. They just went above and beyond and made sure the whole experience was fantastic. And and they did that without us asking. They did that um, because it's the right thing to do. They um, helped unload and load up stuff for us. Um, they, they did a fantastic job, and that's just one little example of how hard these people work. Right. They are amazing at what they do. They are dedicated, and uh, the city of Zini would not run the way it does without them. We are very thankful for their help. Right. Mayor, you're a great ambassador for the city of Xenia. Now, I ask you at the top of the show, you know, why Xenia is such a great place to live and why it's a great place to raise a family. You know, uh, tell us, tell the audience it's, why you think it's so wonderful. It's this community. I, I love this community. You know, I often say Xenia is kind of that in-between, you know, we're close to Dayton and Cincinnati and Columbus, so you have city-type things to do, but we're small still. And it's a close-knit community, and, and we care for each other. We help each other. Um, we love on each other. And I want my kids to grow up with that same feeling. I, I loved growing up here, the friends that I had. Um, the church community is very close. And I, I think Xenia, they, we take a lot of pride in being a close-knit community. And I love being a part of that. I love raising my family here. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Mayor. Thanks, Lee. Now, listen, uh, we really do appreciate your public service. Coming up next, we're going to spend some time talking to Brent Merriman, city manager of Xenia for the past five-plus years, and talk about specific things happening now in Xenia. We'll be right back. Hey, we're from Chicago, and we enjoy being down town Xenia. And we love your bike trails. Wish we had them in Chicago. Running a city is no easy task. If you don't believe me, just ask city manager Brent Merriman, who happens to be here. Brent, whether it's gas aggregation streets, town square, the roundabout, neighborhood night out, or the progress on progress, there's always something happening in Xenia, right? A lot of things going on, a lot of exciting things, uh, changes sometimes lead to some inconveniences, but uh, it's the price of progress. Absolutely. Well, why don't you tell us about some of the things I mentioned? I mean, uh, I know that you and I had talked not long ago about Gas aggregation, I mean, it doesn't sound too interesting, but it's important. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so our residents will be familiar with the electric aggregation that uh, the city uh, has migrated to in recent years. Similarly with natural gas, voters in, in Xenia many years ago authorized the city to uh, represent them on their collective behalf in looking at an aggregation for natural gas services. Uh, so City Council has authorized the staff and instructed us to move forward with aggregating that uh, natural gas service. Uh, so our residents will be expecting uh, later this summer, early fall, uh, to begin receiving uh, information from our aggregation partners. And what this will do is allow our residents an opportunity to opt out of receiving an aggregated gas service for their natural gas. Um, voters, uh, residents don't have to do anything um, if they want to remain in the program. Uh, what this will do, it will allow our, our, our consumers locally of natural gas services to receive um, their uh, utility service at a lower price point. And so all of our residents can serve to save that, um, that difference on the aggregation um, with the natural gas. Okay, well that's good. You know, uh, let's move seamlessly from one thing to the other. One of the things I want to do is to talk about something that's really exciting for us in Xenia is again, all the progress on progress, what's going on in the Greenway area with Aldi's. Uh, tell our audience about what's happening out that way. Yeah, so we're excited to see uh, retail growth in our community. Um, we've been partnering with the Green County Commission and Green County Department of Development as well as private developers looking at the opportunities that could exist um, in some retail growth in that portion of our community. Uh, so we are expecting that uh, within days here we'll see uh, the pad being poured for a new Aldi store. They'll be relocating uh, early next year when that project is complete. Uh, additionally, we're looking at uh, other outlots for food service or other retail services that will uh, hopefully develop over the next 18 to 12 or 18 to 24 months at that location. We're excited to see that growth providing new services to our community, hopefully bringing some new uh, food service that would be new to market. Uh, it's growth in our community providing those retail services locally. We're very excited to see that happening. Very good. Uh, Town Square, uh, people always ask me about it. I'm sure they ask you about it. Mayor, I'm sure they ask yeah, you about it. Stop me at the store and ask me about it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Tell us about Town Square, Brent. So what folks should understand with development projects, um, there are a lot of things that have to be, um, a lot of due process steps that go into that. For example, we talked about Greenway Boulevard and that project. Uh, the reality is we were working on that with developers in the, in the county about 18 months before the public really became aware of it. Uh, so there are a lot of things that happen behind the scenes. 
Uh, so the city uh, has owned that town square property since the 1970s, and uh, with uh, Kmart going out of business, there was an opportunity for the city to get total site control of that uh, particular site, and uh, with the prospect of working with developers to see what we could bring in terms of new retail to downtown Xenia. Uh, so folks will, will rightly ask, well, why has nothing happened there yet? Well, we've been going through the process with the developer, looking at some environmental concerns that are a legacy of the tornado era, and how we deal with that. Um, I'm excited to uh, announced today that we'll be having conversations with council in the next few days on some opportunities that have emerged recently. Um, can not put at this point in time any specific timeline together in terms of when we'll see any dirt moving there, uh, but there are uh, parties interested in, in locating new business opportunities there, and we'll discuss with council in the coming days what that means for the future of that site. Okay, we've also talked a little bit about the roundabout, so tell us all about the roundabout. Uh, yeah, uh, the roundabout is an exciting project, and let's be honest, not everybody in the community was excited about that conversation. Uh, but council directed staff to move forward with that project, and a lot of folks are probably wondering, well, why has construction not started there yet? Um, we want our residents to know that that project is actually under the uh, direct um, control or under the auspices of the Ohio Department of Transportation. They're letting that uh, bid project. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so um, as a result of that, they are in control of the timeline for that. And originally that uh, construction for that project was supposed to start this year. Um, due to various concerns, ODOT's pushed that back so our residents won't actually see any significant construction at that site until probably March of next year with the completion deadline by the end of summer next year. Okay. One of the things that the city does, and I think does it very well, is they do events and activities. We get involved sometimes with co-sponsors, but we also have outreach programs. And one of the ones that is well known is Neighborhood Night Out. Uh, why does the city do these types of things? Maybe tell the community what Neighborhood Night Out is. Absolutely. Um, working with council, with staff members, and with other partners around the community, it's important for us to uh, go out to our citizens to be transparent, to provide opportunities, uh, to build bridges, to open up dialogue about services and, and activities going on in the community. Uh, as mentioned earlier, our, our Citizens Academy is a great opportunity to look in depth at how the city operates. Uh, the kind of the reverse of that is when we go out to particular neighborhoods or to uh, neighborhood parks, uh, local elementary schools in partnership with Xenia Community Schools, with Kettering Health Network and other partners and really bring the services on the road. It's an opportunity to be up close and personal with the residents to talk with them about their concerns, uh, ask questions on things like the roundabout in the town square and get an honest answer. Uh, but also time, it's, it's a, a time and opportunity to build community. Uh, lots of family activities, bouncy houses, uh, hot dogs, chips, drinks um, provided at no cost to our residents all through uh, donations and sponsorships with, uh, with other entities. Uh, just a great family environment to connect with the services in our community and a time for uh, our residents to get in touch with uh, city leaders, council members, and really uh, you know one-on-one -on -one conversation. We have a lot of uh, friends of ours, again, in the community, as you say, that are, that are actually partners, but then we have some sponsors. Uh, and one of the large ones is Kroger, as I remember. Is that correct? Kroger is one of our uh, key, uh, key sponsors. Uh, we also have uh, Kettering Health Network, Xenia Community Schools. They graciously host us uh, at right. a number of locations, and, and we appreciate their partnership. Uh, no city can be successful without a successful school system, and, uh, and we are glad to have them as a partner in, in opportunities like this to reach out to our, our joint citizenry. Right. Well, running a city uh, involves so many more things than what we discussed here with you and Mayor, uh, but uh, thank you for doing that on a daily basis, and thank the public service uh, members of Xenia and everybody who provides these services, whether it's fire, police, or any of the department's administration in the city of Xenia. Well, that just about does it for today. Thanks so much for tuning in to this edition of Explore Xenia TV and Express Xenia. Thanks to Xenia Mayor Sarah Mays and City Manager Brent Merriman. Now, if you need more information about the city of Xenia, it's real easy. Just log on to explorezenia.com. Till the next time, take care.